personal foul. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. And Giannis's journey, GA, so incredibly compelling, a full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. You know, it's been tremendous to watch Anthony Davis realize his potential here in the NBA. Over the seasons, he's lived up to the hype and developed himself into a true all-star. Here's Bamba. Got it off in time. And so the first quarter is in the books. Lakers ahead, leading a Laker. 14. And, please give up and if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> well, he's got a point, David, and we thank you for your report. Spins. Here's LeBron. The shot, no good. And Milwaukee will come the other way. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. Now here's LeBron. He's got six. Bamba with it. And jump by Portis. And the dunk by Bamba. Seven foot nine wingspan on full display there. Bamba swooping in at the Thor. Here's Middleton. No points in the game yet for him. And so the ball's out of bounds. Middleton touched it last. Los Angeles calls timeout. Greg, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now. And that has to be the attitude moving forward they're built to do it again just need to push all the right buttons Lakers leading by seven. Pass to Vanderbilt. Down low. Reed Reeves. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Reeves has got five now. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Back to Hachimura. Here's Reeves, defended by Middleton. Four on the shot clock. The trade. No good that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. And now in the final year of his contract, D'Angelo Russell trying to get back to that all-star level and the promise that got him that last four-year deal. Here is Russell following the basket by Chris Middleton. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's on Brooke Lopez. 
And after a lackluster performance in last year's playoff, Russell has some making up to do. Yeah, and the efficiency has been a problem. Now, if you're a player whose primary value is at the offensive end, you can't just be a volume scorer. The sweep is over two. Right there, you see Holiday's toughness. Gets hit, able to maintain body control, finishes the play. Here's Reeves. Five points in the game. Hachimura. Off target from outside. To the wing right side. Back to Portis. And Portis throws it down. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Pass to Reeves. Here's Vanderbilt. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Right here's a classic NBA question. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot. But I'd go with the Lakers. More superstars over the years. I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. First personal five. First team five. 1-12 left to play in the first half. Pass to Carter. Fires from deep. And nice hustle by Russell. Trying to make himself into more of a two-way player. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Antetokounmpo, no good. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Austin Reeves. Reeves gets the bucket. Reeves has got four points in the quarter. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. This is his first free throw of the game. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt. And, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer, and if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. Second personal foul. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Bucs shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Carter hits them both. Los Angeles leading by six. Now, here is Russell. To the paint. And that one's good. Hachimura. Hachimura's got his first basket. And that's impressive mobility there. Hachimura is tough to stay with given how quick he rolls in these sets. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. And here's Frankich. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Eight-point game. Here's Ingles. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Right there, it's who wants the basketball the most. And it's Joe Ingles creating the extra possession. And it's Russell missing. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Los Angeles leading by six. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. You love the pressure he's putting Lakers on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. And it's Davis missing. And it's Milwaukee's ball. And with 
the struggles AD has had to stay healthy. And you wonder, though, if the team's going to focus on having him be at his best for that postseason run and, and try to manage the wear and tear. Bucks drilled by six. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Ooh, tough-minded. I love the concentration right there. Potential and one for Gorn. And that one misses. And when Davis is on the floor, Greg, he is a force. But how do you keep him healthy into the playoffs? That is the question. I mean, sustaining his output over a full season isn't easy. But Davis has had a bit of bad luck with the injury. So you have to mitigate ways to keep him available. James. Milwaukee timeout. And finished off by LeBron. Very athletic move by LeBron on the slam, showing the defense he still can be unstoppable. Once again, give it up for your Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Middleton for three. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Middleton's got five now. When you've gained a decade or more of experience, this is what tends to happen. Holiday stand very far. waiting for someone to break free. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene. The shot by Holiday, no good. To the inside. Nice shot there by Bamba. And now it's a nine-point Los Angeles lead. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Lopez, no luck. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Bounce pass, Russell. Davis. The rebound by the Bucks. And this Laker squad has a ton of talent, but some guys are well past their prime. Now here's LeBron. He's got eight. You know, not sure if he's playing to the crowd, but, but no need for the fadeaway on that shot. Here's Crowder. And another shot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Jay Crowder, blue-collar combo forward, finds ways to outwork you. At the line for the Bucks. And what do you think G.A. is the next step for this Lakers team. Yeah, coming off a championship not that long ago, young firepower is surely needed. These older guys can't carry a team like they used to. Here's James. And again, the Lakers no good. Pass to Crowder. All sorts of time. Here's Yuck. Plays it up and banks it in. Giannis has got his second basket. And, and Giannis knows how to compete. He knows you got to fight for those second chance opportunities. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Lakers have been at their free throws in this one, going three of six so far. And they shot their free throws at a measly 73% clip over the course of last season. And it goes out of bounds. Lakers Last ball. touch by Anadokounmpo. 111 left here in the third quarter. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Los Angeles ball. 106 left in the third quarter. And it's Davis at the elbow. In the corner, Bamba with it. Down to five on the shot clock. LeBron James. LeBron with the bucket. 
and nice touch from the inside. I, I'm a fan of when LeBron just burrows his way inside and takes advantage. Here's Portis. And stolen by James. For Middleton. And that one's good. James. LeBron got the lead up to 11 now for Los Angeles. Back to Holiday. The kick out to Anadokounmpo. Goes back up. Back to Holiday. There's Portis. Bamba with the block. The main weapon in Bamba's attack, the slender long arms he possesses, helps him block lots of shots. And so it's Los Angeles holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. The Lakers, 38. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Greg, you look at a player putting up big numbers on a losing team. How do you determine if those are quality numbers, so to speak? You know, Kevin, it's a great question because somebody's going to put up points or collect rebounds or get assists. So, you know, you look at efficiency, you, you look at effort, and there's no doubt that you can have winning players on losing teams. Look at the stroke on LeBron's mid-range jumper. That's why this look is an easy option for him. Now that's what I call a momentum changer. Now when you've got a point guard, that kind of strength, no, he is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. To the middle. Here's Bamba. Doesn't go for him. Some solid defense from Andre Kumbo. And Holiday has it in the corner. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. How about a minute played here in the fourth quarter? Back to Portis. And stolen by James. Outside, Davis. James looking it over. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, we know we're in the later stages of his career, but Steve, it's just simply incredible, mind-boggling, really, how athletic LeBron James remains. Kevin, to put it frankly, we've never seen anything like this. He's still getting up with ease for some vicious throwdowns. A testament to how hard he works. And that move has become second nature for Giannis. Once he establishes position, game over. Fades and shoots. And it's LeBron missing. Lopez outside. The kick out to Anadokounmpo. And the lead is down inside single digits. How about the effort? You didn't think a little contact would prevent Giannis from scoring, did you? Here's James. Count it. LeBron James. LeBron's got 11 points here in just the second half. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Timeout called the Bucks. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey guys, well, Mike Budenholzer had some advice for the team during the timeout. He's pleased that they're getting consistent points in the paint. He said, in this league, it's not easy to do what you guys are doing. Let's just keep doing it until they stop us. Kevin? Thank you, David. Pass to Hachimura. Inside. 
Stolen by Middleton. Stolen by Walker. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. And here is Vanderbilt. The wing jumper off target. Bucks trail by 10. Outside Portis. Back to Holiday. To the right side. Here's Hachimura. A three-pointer off the mark. And the turnover again by Milwaukee. That's what happens when nothing goes your way. You start to lose focus, and it makes matters worse. The Lakers making a switch here. And it's Hachimura in the corner. It's thrown about to Kumbo. Holiday with the three. And no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Pass to Schroeder. Over Holiday. And that one hits back iron. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Good. Holiday's got it back down to within single digits for the Bucks. One of the stronger guards in the league. Holiday will take it up inside any chance you give him. They set the pick to the paint. Stolen by Holiday. It's stolen by Davis. Lakers passing it around. And it's Schroeder missing. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. Here's Giannis. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And a big-time playmaker. When the game is up for grabs, give the rock to Giannis. And they go to the intentional foul. Gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And you know, Dennis Schroeder, from the moment he came into the league, showed tremendous confidence. He's never been the type to back down. Timeout called the Bucks. They're down by eight. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. I just think they have to focus on the moment. Don't worry about the score. Worry about executing the next play. And the Lakers can just let the clock run down here. And the baseline jumper, no good. Makes it down to Middleton. Here's Lopez. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Jared Vanderbilt. Yeah, and most bigs don't shoot free throws as efficiently as Lopez. The coaching staff has to appreciate that part of his game. That's good, going one of two from the line, and that narrows the gap to seven. And so Los Angeles takes the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And that'll wrap.